Our world is long since shattered, but hope still flickers in our darkest dreams. Few would guess that our fate would be decided upon the Oneric Isles, an almost forgotten archipelago of the southern sky realms. On these uncanny islands, the apostatic union, power drunk after slaughtering their once exalted gods, maintains but a paltry presence. Under their negligent gaze, the deep forests and dark places teem with cutthroats, cultists, and worse. In the desolate, endless realm, poor souls languish undying in decrepit mausoleums, yearning for their lost mortality. While the Clockwork Kingdom, ruled by the crooked logic of its manufactured monarch, strives to transform not just the realm, but reality itself. All these regions have their part to play in this unfolding story. But it begins fathoms below in the Underlands, a ruinous wasteland where none can draw breath for long. It is here that a secret waits to be uncovered by someone whose dreams burn brighter than any. But will those dreams kindle into a radiant destiny? Or will we burn in the folly of delusion? And hello everybody, CBSO here, and welcome to Dread Delusion. This is... This is already fucking cool. Um, so this is a massive open world uh, RPG, kind of like Morrowind style, if anyone has ever played that. And it's brand new, it's... Oh my god, I love... I love the entire art style here. <laughs> I love everything about the art style. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's like any internal subtitles for anything or no. I guess we don't. All right. Well, we're gonna start game. Oh, there are there are slots. All right. Let's go with the first slot then. I like the loading screen. That is a beautiful art style right there. <laughs> I wonder how much we're going to see in this little art style here. That's fucking awesome. I love that. The world was Ooh. long ago broken. Its surface cursed. You are a dweller of the Sky Realms. Drifting islands that cradle the last of human civilization. Here, in the dank cell of an Inquisition ship, you ruminate on your past. Dreams of childhood slip through your mind. Was your fate sealed even then? Ah, uh, okay, so here's the class selection. All right. So I have Brawler. The idea of battle captivates you. It always has you started by smashing sticks before long you were clashing swords. There was a, never a question. You were a fighter through and through. Plus two might increases your maximum health, governs the combat skills and attack of attack and defense. Very tempting, considering how I play RPGs. <laughs> uh, urchin, growing up you were nobody, just another malnourished. God, I've never seen that word written down. Child of child clogging through clogging the city without the street gang you'd have died like the rest they taught you to see what others didn't you slip in where others couldn't they taught you to survive plus two guile increase your maximum stamina governs the lock pick and agility skill okay that that's, that's also tempting, considering I also do a lot of lockpicking in RPGs <laughs> and just looking for secrets. Uh, apprentice. As a child of a remarkable, of remarkable promise from an unremarkable fam family, your parents sold you to a passing scholar- What? What is this origin? 
sold you to a passing scholar. Your growth was, your youth was spent copying tomes till your hands bled. But what you read, you did, you did not forget. W plus two wisdom. Increase your maximum mana. Governs the lore and spell casts. What's lore? What is the lore skill? I might just pick that just because I'm curious what the fuck the lore skill is. <laughs> uh, noble. A child of noble birth, you were dining with foreign degen d dignitaries. I that is that is a word I've never seen written down. <laughs> I, God. <laughs> My brain could not comprehend what that said. As a, a child of no birth, you were dining with foreign dignitaries before you could walk. You learned manners and etiquette, but more than anything, tenacity. Uh, for the glittering halls of Riova can be more cutthroat than the darkest of alleys. Plus two persona. So I like the so the charisma skill increases your regenerate. Okay, that's actually kind of important. Governs the charm and barter skills. Ooh, ooh, noble is pretty good too. All of these are really good. I'm very surprised. That's all of these have something I want. Uh, there is a magic system in this game. I've seen some of it. It looks really cool. Uh, do I want to focus on the magic system or do I want to focus on the combat system? Because I've seen the combat system. It looks so fluid. I love it. Okay, we're going to go with Brawler. And we're going to see if we can, like, increase the other stats later. The body grew. The mind sharpened. For a while, oh. it excelled. Oh, I was wondering what the hell this was. Apparently, we have other things to select. All right. Okay, soldier. Uh, you were drafted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These are all types of fighters. Wait, 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 wait. Dreams Hold of on. child, the body grew. <gasps> the mind sharpened. Dreams of the body grew. That's the clever. For a while, you excelled. So wait, 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 Dreams wait, wait. Of child, the body grew. All of them. The mind sharpened. All of them. Dreams of child, the body. Okay, we're going back to Brawler. The mind sharpened. But I didn't well, expect what? that. You excelled. I didn't expect all of them to have different names and descriptions for each of these, like, bonus bits here. That's actually really clever. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, soldier. You were drafted into the Apostatic Union's military... The god, the god war might have ended, but the hunt for cultists had not. You took, you tore to the union's fingers, fighting cultists, insurgents in blood skirmishes, and seeing friend and foe cut down. Wait, what? I don't know. Did I? I don't know if I read that right. I. This sentence did not feel cohesive. Uh, plus 20 attack, increased damage done with all physical weapons. Mercenary. You joined a band of mercenaries selling your sword to the highest bidder. When work was slow, you scavenged ruins or wrecked skyships to make ends meet. Before long, you were as deft with Lockpicks as a blade. Plus 20 lockpicks. Increases your chance of successfully picking a lock or disarming a trap. Requires lockpicks which break upon failure. Oh, that sounds so important. Uh, Inquisitor. You were sought out by the Inquisition, who trained you as an agent in the hunt for god worshippers. You were taught their false histories and their untruths. Uh, you learn to sniff out their dens and decipher their hidden secrets. Plus 20 lore. Knowledge of artifact... Uh, sorry, knowledge of ancient truths. Allows you to interact with concealed mechanisms to reveal hidden secrets. 
I kind of want that. Oh, I love I love finding the, the different secrets in games. Oh, I kind of want that. Either mercenary or inquisitor sound fucking great for me. <laughs> okay, assassin. Uh, Frontline combat was always also vulgar. You honored your skill in secret uh, while cl clinking glasses with powerful people in elegant ballrooms. When your employers slipped you a name, you killed with subtlety. Plus 20 chart. The ability to influence others through dialogue can reveal important information or resolve difficult encounters. Oh, that's... The soldier one is basic. It just increase your attack. These three right here are fucking cool. This one probably has some special, like, dialogue stuff. This one has the whole finding hidden shit. I might actually go with Inquisitor. This one has just lock picking. Which just opens so many doors. But I might go with lock lore. Or lock being lore or lock being lore or lock being lore or lock being. I'm more curious about what the hell they mean by hidden hidden contraptions. I'm going with lore. Cracks showed. Oh hello. The guard what? slipped. <laughs> the mistake was grave. The Inquisition had your scent. Wait. The body grew. Cracks showed. Your guard. The body grew. The no, it's, they're all the showed. same. All right. Your guard slipped. But I'm sure the these also are in grave. influenced by the, Inquisition the first one. Your scent. Okay, traumatized. Your years of killing took its toll. You spent. You slept lightly. A knife under the pillow. If you slept at all, noises made you twitchy. The. The dark in dark places you saw the men you'd killed. One day you snapped and killed a man in broad daylight for all to see. Oh. Uh plus twenty defense def decreases damage received by enemy combatants. I might go with that. I might. Uh deserter. You'd you've had your fill of bloodshed but saw no way out, so you deserted your old comrades, pursued pursued you over isle, islands and skyships until you could run no more. Plus 20 agility increases move, movement speed and jump height. Oh, if this is like Morrowind, I bet you can get fucking movement speed and jump height to be so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I could only imagine... Uh, fatal miscast. Uh, to excel in combat, you studied not just the blade, but the secret language of the cosmos. You wrote spells of your own design, dangerous and illegal without trading, but a spell backfired, killing the wrong person and sealing your fate. Plus 20 spellcast. Uh, increases the potency of spells and how quickly you can call upon them. Okay, so also I've just realized all of these are how you, we got into this prison cell. I've just realized that. Don't ask me why it took me so long to realize that. I just realized that. Arms dealer. Your knowledge in weaponry opened new avenues. Uh, you became an arms dealer. Trading items of lethality such as such pers pursuits, however are as profitable as they are illegal. Uh, your luck and your luck didn't last for long. Last forever. Plus my barter. Allows for more favorable, favorable deals. Buy low and sell high. Ooh, tempting, tempting. You know, we have some combat skill. We have the lore thing. I'm tempted to go with the spell cast. Just because I'm very curious what types of spells or how how spell casting actually is like effective I'm gonna pick spell cast oh god what is that fucking hold on is there a oh god lag is there a sensitivity Wait, 
Are there airship controls? What? Is it in options? Oh, looks at it. We're gonna crank that the fuck up. There we go. We can actually look. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That has such a Morrowind feel with the giant mushrooms. Oh, I can go in here. Ooh. Coins. I got money. Can I search these corpses? Why are there dead people in here? What the fuck is that? That's just cool looking. Uh, hello, good sir. Prisoner... 17? Yeah, that's 17. Uh, you have been marked for temporary release. The High Confessor will see you in the central chamber. Do not keep her waiting. Uh, why am I being released? Only the High Confessor can answer that. But I calculate there's an 8 in 10 chance you will be granted an uh, the honor of a glorious, sanctifying death. Ah. You're also very creepy. You just acknowledge your weird torso floating on what I can assume is a magic circle and some kind of magic machine with wings. You even have, like, a weird light on your chest and thing going up to your eye. Very interesting. What the fuck are you? What am I looking at right now? The device lurches on unstable legs, thick blood oozing from its seams, with each shuddering movement. There's an interior to that thing. What is in there? A woman's voice, hoarse and raspy, echoes from within the device. Your service required, Prisoner 17. Uh... That's not my name. I'm not gonna take orders from a coffin. Uh, do you need some help? I'm tempted to say I'm not gonna take orders from a coffin. A cackle leap la lapses into a sputter of coughs. This iron coffin is an honor, a privilege. The pain it delivers only serves to sharpen my reason. I don't think that's how pain works. Not gonna lie. Your base crimes against the apostatic union would not merit such exquisite torment, but I can offer you redemption of a different kind. I'm sorry, why is, why is this some form of redemption? Why is your body being in some kind of Iron Maiden trap thing? You're constantly bleeding, I'm realizing. There's just blood pissing out of the bottom. <laughs> uh, I am the High Confessor of this Inquisition Combat Tribunal. We are tracking the most dangerous of criminals. And you will help us. It sounds like I don't have a choice. <laughs> There's... Oh my god, it opens and you can see what's inside. That's creepy as fuck. Why is that? Why? Uh, what's in it for me? How exactly? Uh, there's no way I'm helping the Inquisition. Yeah, there's no way I'm helping the Inquisition. These guys sound psychos. She wheezes. Oh, but you will. Your sentence obligates such military service. Refusal would result in unspeakable horrors performed on your person. So, listen closely. Our target's whereabouts have been known for some time. A backwater archipelago on the very fringes of Union territory. Known as the Anarik Isles? Our flying, these flying islands are host to a manner of outcasts and miscreants. 
we arrived a few hours ago, but met with fierce resistance. Our target is in the Blinding Light Fortress, the last remaining holdout of the Dark Star Mercenaries. I think I just skipped a bunch of dialogues. The game lagged a bit. <laughs> uh. Never. Vela Callius? I'm guessing that's what they said. Never heard of her. She is the daughter of Admiral. Admiral Callius. Groomed for command. But her set. Set up. But she set off on her own. To found a war band of thieves and pirates. The Dark Stars were tolerated in the Union until Vela became enthralled with delusions of grandeur. Claimed she could create some sort of heaven. Before you go, take this Inquisition journal. Uh, the mechanical arm thrusts a pe peculiar device in your direction. It will keep track of your mission. My drones can offer guidance. And, and closer to the blinding light, Inquisition... Inquisitor... Ignavis? Can assist you further. Oh, and don't try to run. These flying islands are unstable, and many a fool has fallen to their death. Ah. Uh, also, I love how it actually, like, pulled down the cutouts. Oh. Apparently I was not fully on that, uh, on the thing. Ooh, you can kind of see it down there. That's cool. I'm really liking this fucking art style. This looks really good. Alright, hey, weirdo. <clears throat> I should really come up with a voice for these fuckers. Damaged doors can be broken with a weapon. Alright. I know, I know what I'll do. I'll do like a main voice. There's a chest next to me. Pick up the sword, then press the inventory key to open your journal. Navigate to the equipment panel and equip the sword into your, one of your weapon slots. Lastly, remember to attack the... to press the attack key to unholster your weapon. <laughs> what? Though this is a meager task, I calculate there's a 1 in 20 chance You'll somehow perish in the attempt. Wow, you had such a vote of confidence. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, especially if my game decides to fucking lag. What the hell? Okay, rusty sword. Swords are reliable all-rounder weapons, rewarding both speed and aggression. Chipped and corroded, this one has seen better days and may yet see them again, if some of the rust could be cleaned off. Okay, so I'm guessing that's like... indicating that I can fix this? Equip, yes. Oh, I can actually see my stats. What do I have? I have 15 attack, 15 defense. Okay, those aren't bad stats. Those aren't bad. I had to get some actual fucking armor, though. I should be looking for that later. Where's all this? Delusions. Ooh. Oh, this is all my stat page. Oh, these are where I chose. And I'm guessing there's more stuff we can find get later on? I don't know what this is. Okay, this is the quest log. You have not found any map charts? Oh, there's a fucking map that I have to... I have to go find the map. Ooh. Hold on. How do I put this away? Oh, it's hold Q to put it away. Okay, I, I accidentally figured that out. My bad. I was gonna check the uh, thing, but never mind. Ah, that's what I thought. 
All right, so my, my assumption was correct. When it, when we're given a sword and there's a box that doesn't look right and there's a door that doesn't look right, there's got to be some way of breaking it. <laughs> Is that my assumption normally? Uh, health potion. Restores your health. This potion is brewed from the eye of Pagal herb and hastens the body's rest restorative functions. It is prescribed by most doctors. Uh, one of their few treatments that does more good than harm. <laughs> well then, okay. I guess uh, doctors aren't really good in this, un in this uh, universe. Uh, usables and spells. Spells and quick items must be equipped in the equipment menu before use. Once equipped, press spell to use spells and item to use items. Uh, you can scroll through equipped items with switch item or spells with switch spell. They didn't even bother putting like the actual key. I have to go check what key. Damn, this is just an homage, just a love letter to all the old games. Okay, block is F, apparently. Oh, it's also his controller keypads. Nice. Interact is E. Attack is... Hold or tap left mouse button. Spell is right mouse button. Item is R. Okay. Switch weapon is... Hold or tap Q. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Uh, switch item is Z. Switch spell is control. Okay, okay. So, in order to use the health item... Oh, I didn't mean to use it. I wanted to equip it. Damn it. Well, I needed to heal anyway. Fuck it. Well, hello. What are you? Mana potion! Uh, re revitalizes mana. Created from the Perpetaladox herb... Uh, this potion stimulates the mind and increases the user's magical potency. It has become quite a habit for many university for many university scholars. Ah. So, um, people are addicted to mana potions in this world. So that's the ship we were on. That is actually a really cool design for a flying ship. Really unique. What's, what the fuck is this thing? Guessing this is something the Inquisition put down. Is there anything around here? You know there's probably like hidden shit all over this fucking place. You know there's gotta be. Who the fuck are you? What do we have here? Another wretched soul caught in the Inquisition? Inquisition's web, no doubt. Tell me, has your High Confessor sent you off to die? Uh, are you a ghost? I'm very curious. She smiles, gesturing at herself. Are you shocked by a little apparition? Her gentle laugh seems to echo around you. My, my, you won't go get far if that's the case. She gazes into the distance. Well, stranger, you'd best watch yourself out there. Mark my words, something's brewing in these isles, islands. Uh, the stage is set, uh, the curtain's drawn, and the performance is set to bring the house down. She smirks at you, and something tells me you have your own role to play. Okay. Very inter- what the fuck just happened? Hold on, is there like something I can- hold on. Options. Uh, may I turn off the 3D wobble? Wobbly 3D and 3D textures. Because th th this game is like having some weird lag spikes. And I don't get why. It's very cool though. I'm loving this so far. I'm gonna go this way because I'm very curious. Hello. That's what I thought. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something hidden around here. <laughs> you know in a game like this, there's gotta be secrets hidden around every nook and cranny. And what the fuck are you? Why is there a floating skull? 
you glimpsed a glimmer of delusion? Delusion attributes. There are four delusion attributes. The fundamental attributes which govern your skills. Might, wisdom, guile, and persona. To increase these attributes, you must find enough glimmers of delusion by exploring and com or completing quests. Oh, this is the level up items. Okay, so there's not a level system. You just find glimmers of delusion. I see. That is fucking cool. Wait, there's islands down there? Wait, there, there's places to go down there? Oh shit, I'm gonna have to go down there at some point. Ooh, what is in here? Hello, potion. Gimme. It's another potion. Stamina potion! Restores stamina and a portion of stamina threshold. Oh, I just realized my, my stamina is actually, like, permanently down. Delivered from the... Derived from the jitter seed, this potion imbues the user with an unnatural speed energy. Oh. What is this? What are you? There's no sign here explaining you, so I'm assuming that you get it explained later. All right, well, uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, skills. There are a number of skills that determine your effectiveness in certain ta at certain tasks. Some are active, active skills, such as lock or lore, which let you interact with objects in the world. Others are passive skills like defense, such as defense and regen. Uh, skill can, all, can be important in increasing the delusion attribute that governs it or the special equip or with special equipment. Okay, okay. So I can increase Ooh, ammunition. An assortment of ammunition for ranged weapons requires required to fire bows and the like. Oh, are there guns in this universe? I always like fantasy worlds that incorporate like gun type things. So that's like just realistic, they would technically have developed some form of artillery in their universe, technically. It also, like, shows that they have had technological progression and aren't just stuck in the Middle Ages permanently. Uh, oh, hello. You're very dead. Can I check your body now? I can't take things off of you. Uh, the road ahead is patrolled by Darkstar mercenaries. I strongly recommend sneaking through the mushrooms to avoid combat. It's not that I doubt your skills, Prisoner 17. I simply calculate a 3 to three and 5 chance you will die honor horribly. Remember, direct conflict is usually avoidable. Uh, be on the lookout for ways to sneak past, th past tough enemies. Alright, alright. Okay, so this is the block. And I kind of want to go that way because I see stuff over there. You know what? We're going to, like, go around them a bit. I'm guessing those are the Dark Star Mercenaries. Now we're gonna go around them and see if we can't get some of this stuff over here. What are you? Got a health potion over here. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, a drop pod landed. What is this? A throwing knife. A well-balanced steel knife designed to be thrown. In sliv knives and thugs like to coat the blade thieves, thieves and thugs sorry, uh, like to coat the blade with jitter seed extract for an additional sting ooh what are you, you alien looking little fucker, jitter seed a potent seed that vi the plant actually like fell over after I planted what? a potent seed that 
vibrates in one's hand can be used as an alchemy ingredient a violet the violent nature volatile nature of this herb makes it ideal for restorative potions and poisons alike and so is prized in the criminal gangs of Slev where's Slev? Is Slev a place I'm going to be visiting? so that's good to know also, I'd like to show off combat before I end this video, so I'm going to fight one of these guys real quick. I'm not going to try and fight both of them, because I'm sure I will die. I will fight you, however. Sure. Uh, never mind, I just ripped that fucker apart. Alright. Come here, I'll rip you apart too. Get blocked. I don't even care if I got hit there. I took, like, no damage. Why was that guy saying that I would lose? Those guys were weak as shit. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so yeah, the combat's pretty fucking fluid. I like the swings. I like the swing animation. Swing looks good. Alright, well, let's go over this way a bit and see if we can't find any glimmers of delusion hiding over here. That'd be nice. Blood in it. Or maybe some lockpicks or a throwing knife. Throwing knife is good. Throwing knife is good. No, don't use. How do I equip it? Uh. Item Where's the item slots? Oh, here's the item slots. Okay, well, now I have... I have some items equipped. That's just a fucking burning building. Alright, let's see. What's this sign say? Uh, combat with an... Unholstered weapon, press attack to perform a normal attack. Hold for a slower but more powerful attack. Ah. Very interesting. Ooh, lockpick, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, game put like. I really need to figure out why it's like. Get fucked. Gosh. Alright, let's see. Is there a save button? I don't know if there's a save button. Really hoping it just auto saves. Alright, um, well, I'm gonna have to end the video here, so I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks to SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I will see you all in the next video, live stream, or in the next. Peace, guys!